This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, hello there, Chef Cutter Diamond, welcoming you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, October the 18th, in the year 1968, one of the greatest moments in Olympic history happened. No, we're not talking about the Black Power salute. That was not really a great moment. It was a great moment for the movement for racial equality, but it just didn't seem right. Regardless of that, one of the key moments of the 1968 Summer Olympics, other than the Black Power Salute and those protests days before the Games by Mexican students, and also the fact that Canada won the team equestrian event, which was weird for Canada to win something in horse jumping. We had the men's lawn jump as something happened in the air that night. I mean, the air is thicker in Mexico because of the high altitude. Regardless of that, Bob Beeman set a record that has never been beaten in the Olympics ever. Sure, the long jump record has been broken, but Beeman's record is still the biggest in the Olympics. So there were 35 athletes competing in the men's long jump from 22 countries. And it was just unbelievable and all that. The returning finalists from the 1964 Games would compete. Lynn Davies of Great Britain, well, technically Wales, but Wales is part of Great Britain, not as an independent country in the Olympics. Ralph Boston in the U.S. and Igor Tereovician of the Soviet Union were there, too. There were other competitors and all that, too. Bob Beeman came out of freaking nowhere to dominate the 1968 non-jump season before the Olympics happened. So, anyway... The format was huge. The qualifying rounds meant each competitor got three jumps to achieve 7.65 meters. They set that mark. And then, if you're, well, if fewer than 12 qualified, then, you know, the top 12 would all, there. and then the final, you'll have three jumps. And actually, the top eight jumpers would get an additional three jumps. And all that. So, anyway, the world record was 8.35 meters, set by Ralph Boston in 1965 and Igor Turbovishan in Mexico City almost a year prior, October 19th, 1967. The Olympic record was Ralph Boston's with 8.12. So, qualifying and all that. So, anyway... They set it up that way. So, anyway, yeah, they said 7.65 meters. And there could be up to 12, up to the guys. 17 jumpers qualified for the final. And all that. Canada, Michel Charland missed. He took 26th. He was our Canadian representative. And all that. So 17 guys came up and got the mark. However, Ralph Boston shocked a lot of people with his first jumping 8.27 meters, which was the Olympic record. Boston didn't jump the rest of the, the other. Well, actually, no, he did jump the last two, but he could not beat his score. Bob Beeman actually had a problem because he was close to being disqualified because... In his first two qualifying jumps for the finals, he fouled, meaning that he needed to be clean on his third attempt to get to the final. And just like Jesse Owens in 1936, he decided to aim his takeoff for a few inches short of the line, sacrificing distance for trying to get into the final. Fortunately, though, his plan worked, and he got it in 8.19 meters, so he beat the mark, and Roland Davies had 7.94. So anyway, the final happened. After Yamada of Japan 
jumped and fouled. Victor Brooks of Jamaica fouled. And Reinhard Bouchard fouled. It didn't look good. The first three jumpers fouled. Bieber needed to do something big. So he jumped and he jumped. And you see the picture. And he really jumped. And somehow it was clean. And somehow he jumped 8.90 meters. Not only did he shatter Ref Boston's Olympic record, he shattered the world record. So it was just unbelievable what he could do, and he did it all that. So anyway... That would be huge and all that. 8.9 meters. So he was practically in the lead after the first jump. So after the first jump, <coughs> excuse me, he had the lead. Ralph Boston had an 8.16 meter jump, and Igor from the Soviet Union had 8.12. So Beeman jumped one more, and then he passed on his jumps and all that. Ralph Boston couldn't beat his 8.16 meters and took second. So, Beeman had beaten Ralph Boston by 74 centimeters, which was a lot. Igor's 8.12 would be good enough for bronze. No, Ralph Boston took bronze, and Igor to finish fourth, as Klaus Beer's second jump was from East Germany was 8.19 meters and took him to second place, but nobody could catch Beeman, so 71 centimeters was the final distance. He beat Beer in Boston, so the beat, the killer bees were the top three in the long jump, Beeman, Beer, and Boston, and all that, so that was just amazing what happened. Yeah, he won by 71 centimeters, his 8.9 meter World record of 29 feet, 2 and 3 eighths inches was actually a record until Mike Powell broke it in 1991 in Tokyo. Ralph Boston became the first man to win three medals in long jump. Ironically, there were one gold, one silver, and one bronze. And Klaus Beer took silver, making him the first German since Les Long in 1936 to win a medal. It's the only time that the men's long jump was won by more than 50 centimeters. Carl Lewis, when he won the 1984 long jump, that was only 30 centimeters he won by. But yeah, Bob Beeman's record stood the test of time and practically just made everyone gasp. He had this heroics just like Jesse Owens. And people will not forget that. It's still the longest Olympic jump ever. So fight me on it. Anyway, I'm Jeff, I'm going to do...